Hi darling, uh, this video is titled Friends That You Need To Send Packing and uh, basically it's a response to B. Scott's Friends You Need To Give The Heave Ho and he had five and I agree with all five and would like to elaborate on those and also add uh, my own and I'm going to give seven. I was going to do ten but I want to allow my viewers to add um, their own comments and then I'll do an updated video adding those. Number one. Attention Annie. Attention Annie is the friend that has to have all of the attention. Whenever you go out, she's loud, she's rambunctious, she's hanging all over the men. If it seems that men are paying more attention to you, she does something to overcompensate, becomes even more uh, obnoxious to try to make sure that everyone is focusing on her opposed to you or anyone else in the group. Um, yeah, attention Annie, she's something else. And that leads me into number two. Number two is self-centered Susan. Self-centered Susan is all about self. Whenever you talk to Susan about something, she turns the conversation back on something relating to her. Like if you go to her and be like, girl, my boss is so crazy. He knows I have to do this and do that. And he adds all this work on top of what I'm already doing. And she's like, oh girl, my boss, he did this on yesterday and, and this and that. And I don't know who he think he dealing with. Da -da -da -da. It's like, okay, boo boo. Um, we were just talking about me. What? Hello, can, can we get my issue resolved and then we'll go on to you. And if you uh, had such an issue, you would have let me know that yesterday. Okay, don't don't come when I'm talking about something. You want to bust in and switch it to you. No, ma'am. All right, number three. Number three is Relay Rita. I call her Relay because she likes to act like she's in a race. She's trying to compete. Do everything better than you. Uh, if you go out and buy a $200 uh, purse, she goes out and gets the $300 or $400 one. If you uh, get a new man, she's running out everywhere and, and trying to find her one and, and get her one. It, it's just like everything you do, she's trying to one up you trying to you know go a step above what you're doing instead of just being happy for you yeah i i, I don't like relay readers because friendship as these guys said is not a competition you should not be competing against each other if you're friends you just you should support each other but you shouldn't be competing against each other like it's a competition that's ridiculous number four Number four is Triflentina. Okay? Triflentina, all kind of things encompass Triflentina, okay? Uh, you know, she doesn't have your back. You know, she'll steal your man. She'll, you know, talk about you when you're not around. She, She's just trifling. You know, nobody needs a trifling friend at all. So, Triflentina needs to be shown the door. Um, Number, what number am I on? Five. Number five. Jealous Jan. Okay, Jealous Jan is jealous of you and your success. Anytime you um, succeed or, you know, get something that great, she's looking like she got the boo-boo face. You know, she got the boo-boo face. Or she tries to downplay what you've accomplished. Like, uh, when I was in college, um, I admit, I, 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 I was kind of full. Uh, you know, my parents uh, bought me a car, and um, it was a nice, very nice car. Um, and so, me and a group of our friends went out. And this guy was like, uh, you know, wow, dang, I like your ride. That's, that's, that's tight. You know, whatever. And my friend who was with me was like, just because she got a new car, a nice car, don't, that don't mean nothing. And I'm like, uh, who, who said it meant anything? He was just complimenting my car. Like, calm down, boo-boo. Okay, calm down. 
you know, it just doesn't make any kind of sense. And to me, people are unhappy. When they're jealous, they're unhappy. Because if things in your life are going the way you want them to, there's no room for you to be jealous of someone else. You know what I'm saying? So you're you're just you're just unhappy. And you know, to quote Lil' Kim, uh censored. Okay, so if you, you don't want to hear cuss words, close your ears a little bit. Uh as Lil' Kim said, get your own shit. Why you ride mine? Okay? Get your own. Don't 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 be riding me worrying about what I got and, and trying to hate on what I got. Get your own. Then you don't have to worry about being jealous and, and hateful of, of, of what I have going on. Okay? So, yeah. Joe Shan. Yeah. Number six. Number six is when in a, when in a relationship, where is Wanda? Wanda is the friend who whenever she gets a man, she is nowhere to be found. Okay? It's like she fell off the face of the earth. I understand when you're in love and, you know, whatnot. You want to spend a lot of your time with your significant other and all that good stuff. And, of course, you should. But you should not neglect those who were in your life before you met that significant other. All relationships need to be nurtured. Whether it's friends, whether it's family, whether it's significant others. All relationships need to be nurtured. So you shouldn't put one relationship on the back burner to address another. You have to be able to multitask and, you know, that's just how it is. For people that you care about. I mean, of course, if you hang out with your friends all the time, when you get a man, you won't be able to hang out with them as much. But you shouldn't just completely cut them off. And then when y'all break up, boom, here you pop up again. No, ma'am. Okay? No, ma'am. I cut someone off who did that. Yeah, because I'm like, you know what? No, because, you know, when you had your man, you were nowhere to be found. You know, and every whenever I was able to get in contact with you, you were up under him. Like, my, uh-huh, well, you know, where did he home? And da 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 And it's like, okay. And then when you broke up, it's like, oh, girl, he did this and he did that. And da 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 Okay, now you want to talk. Now. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Because your friends and your family are going to be there and will be there if things don't work out. So you need to not forget that you have those relationships and not forget that those people are human. And just because you're in love doesn't mean that they're going to accept you just disappearing on them. That's not cool. Learn how to manage all of your relationships. And the last one, which relates to that, is the fair weather friend. The friend when everything is going right, she's right there by you, you know. Then when shit hits the fan, you looking like, where is she? Where is she? Fair weather friend. She's nowhere to be found, you know, when, when you need her and, and when things go wrong, you know. It's just like, you know, who needs a friend where they can't be there for you when there are bad times. You know what I'm saying? You don't want someone like that. At all. And you know what? I'm going to make this eight. Because there, there's another one. Think, thinking of that, negative Nancy. Number eight is negative Nancy. She always has something negative to say. It doesn't matter. You can... Give her the best news and sliced bread and she got she gonna find some negativity in it. Those kind of people bring you down. You don't want people in your life who bring you down who when you're high and positive and everything and then you go around them and it's just like mm -hmm. they just they just bring you down with all their negativity. It just completely sours your mood. You you don't need a friend like that. No, you don't. So that's it you guys uh feel free to add on and like i said i will do an update and uh that's it so i'll see you guys later peace